just that. Yes. Good morning or uh, afternoon class. Is it afternoon? Yes. Now, when you talk about bank laws, we mean the laws which are put in place to regulate the banking functions, like let's say how to handle the deposits, and of course, central bank being the main bank, it has to put in place some regulations which the commercial banks have to follow, and the other financial institutions like the circles, the bureaus, all these are put, uh, are regulated by the Central Bank of Kenya, and those are the laws. They say, like, if the commercial banks are told to have minimum ratio, that is, the laws coming from at least uh, the Central Bank, which is an implementer of the Kenyan laws, because it's the, the government bank, so all these operate according to the lay down procedures, lay down laws. The lay down laws. That is what we call the bank laws. And these are the laws which also govern how to admit a customer into the bank by they say having the form filled. And once he fills the form and signs it, it means has accepted the contract between the bank and himself or herself. Okay? Now, the bank laws are put in place so that there is no ultra bias that is operating outside or uh, doing things which are not within the interpreted uh, procedure. So, with the bank laws, there are banking laws which are, like let's say, uh, how to terminate uh, the client's uh, contract. And also, we shall look at also how the banks are supposed to keep information concerning the client. Those are also laws which govern the secrecy, the confidentiality of the customers. And also, um, the customer also must be informed that he has also to protect his assets, like let's say checkbooks. He has to make sure that such things are not uh, accessible by any other person other than himself, or they must also be kept in custody.